really come down to in the 90s, not only in Alabama, but in, in some adjacent southern states as well, is that uh, when a textbook committee looked at your book or the legislature looked at the book, they didn't look at it as history, they looked at it as culture. Mm-hmm. And the question was, how did you conform to Alabama culture? What did you think about birth control? What do you think about this and that? What do you think about capital punishment? What do you think about... Well, all of these are absolutely irrelevant. I mean, you can, you can have any position on abortion in the world, on the left or right, and write really good history. <laughs> it, it's mm-hmm. entirely possible to do that. And so the question that should drive a textbook collection is not this background story of, what, of how does this conform to Alabama culture? Unless, of course, you're going to do a polygraph text test for every student in public school or university in Alabama that says, will you pledge to spend the rest of your life in Alabama? Because when you get out of Alabama, people are going to make fun of you. And, and here, I mean, I, I'm quite serious about that as a point of view. No textbook should ever be so insular that it basically disqualifies a person from a civil conversation in New York City or Boston or, or San Diego or, or Seattle. If the, if the history you're getting in Alabama is so different from the history they're getting everywhere else, that it makes you a parade and an outcast and at the cocktail parties it makes you sound like an idiot. Uh, and people began to point at you and say, oh well, you have to cut him some space, he's from Alabama. Well, that's what you want. That's what you're going to get if we follow this track.